My father was a bank manager and he would have liked me to have gone into the bank and I didn't want to do that, although I was quite good with money. I used to have a savings account and kept a cheque of it. I probably could have done banking quite well in practice. Now, I was looking back, it might have been a better career, but nevertheless, I was quite interested in science at school and I could sort of do it. And I was doing A-levels um, at Hendon County Grammar School in, in Hendon and uh, chemistry, botany and zoology. So they were sort of biological things. And I was living in Mill Hill, not far from the Institute. I knew about the Institute. I had been up there to a party some years before with my best friend Quinton. And Quinton was working there. And I left school before the end of school because we'd done the A-level exams and uh, I wrote to the headmaster, or my father did, saying uh, my son would like to leave now, though we, we did have another term to do general studies. And um, the headmaster, Mr E. W. Maynard Potts, he never really liked me very much, and he was quite glad to see the back of me, so he agreed and I left. And I went to work in the cemetery at, at Golders, Golders Hill Road, Mil uh, Hendon Crematorium, and uh, worked with a few other notable scientists there, Eric Stanbridge, who you may or may not have heard of, that I was at school in the same class with him, and anyway. So my friend was Quinton, and he was already working at the Institute, and he said to me, why don't you come and work at the Institute? You'll love it, he said. Lots of nice girl technicians up there, and uh, that sort of thing. And uh, so I thought, okay. So I wrote a letter, got an interview with um, Miss Steele, who was the assistant personal officer, and I was offered a job, and that was in 1960. Yeah, I was very interested in mechanical things and that sort of things. I mean, I've been interested in technology, always have been. And um, I had a Meccano set, like everybody had a Meccano set. I had a Hormi train set. We all had that sort of stuff. But I was the first child and so I didn't get the best things. I got a second-hand bike, which was a jolly good thing because I had to take it to bits and repair it and put it together and make it work, which helped me to understand how to take things to bits. And I was quite interested in chemistry, and um, we were we had uh, well, I was doing A level chemistry at Hendon, and uh, Miss Strands was the chemistry mistress, and uh, I had a chemistry set in the cellar of our house in Mill Hill, where I used to do strange things like electrolysis of water with batteries and chucking some salt in and this sort of thing, making hydrogen and oxygen and setting the hydrogen off and. This, you know, the sort of thing. I mean, it was all pretty trivial stuff. I was quite interested, but I don't think I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be a great chemist or anything like that. I was just, I was just playing around. I was doing all the things that young chaps do. I was collecting stamps, train spotting, take, doing Meccano, all that sort of stuff. Nothing, nothing in particular, but it was practical stuff, I suppose. 